Only on nine tonight, vandals have made a repeat appearance at a Westchester restaurant, leaving behind obscene graffiti. Okay, k 9s Andrea Fujii is live in Westchester, where she spoke with a restaurant owner who is tonight baffled by what has exactly happened. Andrea. Well, Jeff, even though this is the back of the restaurant, it's actually where customers walk in. And over the weekend, it was covered with obscenities. And it's not the first time, but both times the vandals were caught on camera. Billy Tompkins says he couldn't believe it when he heard his Westchester restaurant was hit again with obscene graffiti. Heartbreak, absolute heartbreak. This is my family business. In the last three months, Tompkins Square Bar and Grill has been tagged twice with profanity, covering the entrance and their logo. These are pictures of the vandalism, most of which we had to blur. But we did the best that we could over the weekend just to try to get as much of it off as we could. And both times, what appears to be the same vandal was caught on security cameras. This is video from early Saturday morning. Someone jumped onto the dumpster to spray paint. And here is what looks to be the same guy in November doing the exact same thing. Now we're dealing with somebody who's repeating coming back here doing this over and over again. But this time, the vandal wasn't alone on Saturday. Cameras also caught a couple other people tagging the restaurant as well. Longtime customers say they don't see a lot of graffiti around here and don't know why this place would be targeted. I don't like to see this, and it's been on the back wall where everyone can see it. It's a very public area. Tompkins says neither he nor his staff recognize the taggers. So far, he says it's cost him at least $5,000 to repair the damage, a big expense for a small business. I just hope it doesn't happen again. I pray it doesn't happen again. The LAPD says there isn't a lot of vandalism in this area, so they don't know why this restaurant was targeted. But they do have the security camera video and say they are investigating. Jeff, back to you.